Good day, everyone. This is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar, where we continue talking about the psychedelics, the serotonergics, uh, and uh, we'll talk about the next molecule, which is structurally very similar to dimethyltryptamine. Uh, so if we take a look at um, our serotonin uh, molecule, our original uh, serotonin, um, we have uh, 5-HT or 5-hydroxytryptamine. Um, I have a uh, hydroxyl group hanging off a 5-carbon on an aromatic ring, and then I have an amine side chain here. And we know that if we get rid of that, okay, we oxidize the aromatic ring and get rid of, or, uh, or reduce it rather, and get rid of the hydroxyl group, and then substitute the hydrogens with methyl groups on the nitrogen here. Okay, that produces, there we go, that produces a molecule of DMT, or dimethyltryptamine. All right, and we've already talked about that. So the next molecule that I'm going to talk about is um, something known as bufotanine. Bufotanine is also known as 5-hydroxy-DMT. Um, or 5-hydroxy-dimethyltryptamine. Um, uh, so what does that mean? Well, that means that I don't revert back to serotonin. Rather, I keep my DMT molecule, okay, my, my um, dimethyl uh, with my two, whoops, my two methyl groups here. Um, I keep those, and the only change I really have to do is just to put that hydroxyl group back on the five carbon there. Okay, so now I have five hydroxy dimethyl tryptamine. And this is a molecule of bufotanine. Uh, bufotanine is, uh, ha is a weaker, has a weaker um, hallucinogenic or um, psychedelic properties than uh, dimethyl tryptamine, tryptamine proper. Um, but it still does have some hallucinogenic properties, and uh, three areas that you, three places you can get this molecule from. It can come from toads, trees, and fishes. Um, and there is the term "licking licking a toad." Uh, that that term uh, does tend to come from this. Um, actual case reports of actual psychedelic experiences happening by, by, by toe licking are, are kind of rare, to, to be quite honest, and it just seems to be a little overblown. Um, but certainly it could come from um, the beans of several different uh, species of trees. Um, there is a toad, um, uh, toad venom. Uh, I would have to actually research that because to call something a venom means that there is a delivery mechanism involved. And um, when, when we typically talk about um, frogs and toads, generally uh, frogs and specifically, I know toads aren't frogs, but um, frogs uh, excrete poison. Uh, they don't have a delivery mechanism for that poison. So it may be that the toad uh, maybe has some sort of uh, way of injecting um, the venom um, you know, in their mouth or what have you. If that's the case, then... Um, I think uh, it would be justified in calling it venom, but I'm not sure if it's poison or venom. But be as it may, it exists. Um, it's it's not not nearly ha it doesn't nearly have the hallucinogenic properties as DMT, um, and it and just like DMT, it really pretty much has to be um, either injected or inhaled because of of uh, extensive first pass. Uh, metabolism. So it's kind of a minor player, but it's a quick, easy one to talk about because it's just so uh, chemically similar to DMT and serotonin. Okay, guys, as always, thanks for hanging in there.